I'm Sam Sheridan from Sheridan Computers. I just wanted to do a quick video on this uh, Microtik 10 gig switch. Um, I've been playing with some uh, 10 gig networking with some XCP and G servers and free NAS. Um, and these are really cheap. If we switch over to uh, Amazon, I'll leave the link to uh, these switches in the description below. So we have Microtik CRS 305 1G 4S IN. Um, the price on these, uh, they're less than 100 quid excluding that. Uh, it's a 5 port PoE switch, it's got um, one RJ45 gigabit and the rest are uh, 4 SFPs. And it is PoE as well. Um, now it's running root OS and you can switch it to, to a switch OS. Uh, I'm going to do another video on how to do that because I've absolutely no idea. This is my uh, first dealings with any form of Microtik router. Um, so here it is. So it's quite light. Um, as you can see, we've got four SFP ports on the RJ45, which can also be used to power it by PoE. Um, looking at the back of it, it does support dual power supplies for redundancy, which is uh, pretty good on a switch this small. Um, on the front of it, you can see you've got power light, status lights, power light, uh, and a reset switch. So, in the box, we have basically just the switch and the power supply, which is a UK power supply, which is a good thing. Um, so these are really neat small switches, um, but for a 10 gig network switch for less than £100, um, yeah, you really can't moan at that. So that was a really quick video, um, just introducing this switch. Um, let's say it was just unboxing it. I'm going to do a separate video on how to configure it because I haven't even logged into it or done anything at all with it. I've not even powered it up yet. You just see me take it out of the box. Um, I hope this vid. I hope you like this video. If you um, like it, please hit the like button.